hey guys welcome back to my channel we finally got a package from india from my very special important vendor all the way from india now this package was super heavy like i don't know who i am sometimes like i don't know who told me to go get this on my own like i knew it was heavy i did order a lot of things but jesus anyway i'm hungry this is how I normally start my day. If I get a package, I go pick that up. I'm making me some home fries right now. Make sure you guys pick up this ingredient from your local Dollar Tree. It is super bomb. Make sure you guys get that. And hey, Denim. Hey, Boo Boo. This is my heart. Say hi, Denim. For those of you who don't know, this is my first child, Denim. Denim Royal Rivers. And here I am headed to my sewing room trying to get this big box of goodies to my office and it's huge just watch me and watch how much i struggle trying to pick this up now this box has over like 20 appliques and fringes and stones and all that other stuff so i don't know who told me that i can do this on my own but i got it out and now i'm just throwing it to the side because i'm literally over it like i should have waited for my boyfriend to pick this up but box I hate you. You are heavy. That is my workout for the day. So this is a two-in-one video. I'm going to show you guys how to make those nice African curves you guys been seeing. So get your material, measure it out, and you guys need horse hair. And just make sure the horse hair width is as wide as the piece that you want. And then we're going to go ahead into the next step. And you guys will also need your regular bias tape for this so this is the way that i've been doing it so you guys will need two pieces of bias tape to cover your ends of the horse hair and go ahead and just set that to the side okay so you guys will get your horse hair whatever size or length you desire but first you will have to measure out the piece you need and make sure you guys turn that inside out so what that means right sides to right sides because you guys are going to be sewing a little bit so you guys will be sewing the top of your piece down the sides of your piece and then the bottom piece you will leave open because you guys will need to turn that inside out so go to your sewing machine sew the top part and then leave your needle on the inside leave the needle in the material don't pick it up pivot fix your material if it needs to be fixed and then come right back down do a straight seam all the way down until you get to that open part now no one has taught me this i just found this way to be a lot more quicker and easier because sometimes i don't have that stiff fabric horse hair so doubling the horse hair two or three times works for me so once you get here back tack leave it open take your scissors and cut off that excess thread and you're ready for the next step so this is the step and this is what you should have so before you turn it inside out i was rushing before you turn it inside out just make sure you guys um cut off your threads and cut off that excess fabric so that extra fabric right there just go ahead and cut it off not too close to the seam though just cut that right off then you can go ahead and turn it inside out and once you do that this is what you guys should have like i said you only need fabric horse hair and bias tape for this and a sewing machine and that is it and i'm pretty sure all of us has that now towards the end of your fabric piece if the fabric is uneven that's fine see how mine is just cut that extra piece off one two three and that's it no foul no play no harm done doesn't really matter now the next step is you will take your piece put it to the side and this is what you should have now get your horse hair like i said before get your horse hair measure the length of your material and whatever the length of that is leave about an inch off or a half an inch off but do about four pieces of that horse hair see so my same length as, as my fabric was doubled four times so depending on how hard you want the fabric to be or that piece to be do that times whatever i did four pieces and i put my pins in it to keep the horse hair together take your bias tape and take your bias tape and place it at the ends just to close the horse hair because wherever you're putting it you do not want to feel the horse hair going into your skin or going into your client so go ahead go to your, your sewing machine and just use the bias tape and sew that right over 
again there will be access material i don't know why i cut a big piece of bias tape but i did just cut off that bias tape and then yeah this is what you guys should have see clean like that go ahead turn your horse hair over and then go to the other side and add your other bias tape to that side this is what you guys should have boom now you're going to go ahead and sew on the sides of your horse here top to bottom top to bottom so as in the video you guys are just seeing me sew top to bottom this is to keep the horse hair in place i have my notch on five it can be the loosest notch it does not need to be on three as you guys can see so go ahead and sew that all the way down i'm gonna go ahead and back tack just so that, that the threads won't unravel and then once you're done with that side you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side again sew it on the other side so once you're done you should have something like this get your material once you have your horse hair i want you to bend it towards each other that way you can feed it through your fabric so this is another easy step and i'm going to go ahead and speed up the video because i don't know what was taking me so long just feeding the horse hair through but this is what you guys should be doing and then once you get to the end you guys will see that it does give the same effect as the horse hair fabric um, and just make sure you pull out those edges and those corners and make sure your fabric is even and boom so see this is how you get that african stiff horse hair shoulder piece type of look so once you're done see that extra material you guys are going to fold it inside each other fold it in like a sandwich or like a sock or a fitted sheet <laughs> like i don't know the analogy but just fold it into each other the top and the bottom fold it into each other and then you should be like this like a hot pocket <laughs> And then you're going to just top stitch that close. So go ahead, go to your sewing machine. And this is what you guys should have after it's top stitch. And you're officially done with this piece. Now you can put it on your shoulder. People place it to make different shapes. You can put it around your arm. You can just have fun pieces like this. Like the longer it is, the more fun you can um, get, the more creative you can get. So for me, I'm just using it for one of my clients for her shoulder pieces so this is how i do mine and here i'm just showing you guys what you can do and how creative you can get and see how stiff it is so you can place it you can turn it like that you can put it over the breast part like doing this method is so cool because you have the opportunity of just having fun and just getting creative with it so i'm gonna go ahead and hand sew this onto the side just like this i guess i did it already and that is it so i hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial on how to do this hard stiff african curve and i hope it was easy to follow and leave your comments leave a, a note in the comments if you guys will be doing this method so this is it y'all i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you guys will love this method bye y'all